Meat Boy is back. And if you guys do have any meat-based recipes, be sure to let me know down in the comments below. Although we've done so many recipes on this channel, be sure to search, check it out. I'm sure there is something you'll love to try. <laughs> Wearing a hat today because I uh, definitely need a haircut. Not looking too sharp. However, it is Wi-Fi shielding attire, so we are protected from radiation. And we are making Italian sausage and peppers. Very, very classic. And as with all these recipes I've been doing over the past two years or so, I'm changing the ingredients based on my understanding of foods through you know, all of my nutritional research. So it's not gonna be 100% classic Italian sausage and peppers, but it's minimally inflammatory. You should feel really good eating it. And more importantly, it can be incorporated into part of a healthy diet every single day due to the ingredient quality. So let me show you guys what those ingredients are. So the star of the show is the Italian sausage we have in the pork share on Frankie's free range meat with my custom spice blend, all organic, nothing else like it on the market to be honest. You're not gonna get corn and soy free pork, especially with uh, this level of culinary expertise. And then in the sausage and peppers, you classically have onions and peppers. Uh, I think the pepperoncini are probably the least inflammatory. When you have something like a red pepper or a green pepper, generally the darker color the vegetable is, the higher anti-nutrient content. So this is probably the lesser of the evils. Usually they'll use like Italian uh, seasoning in it, but since this is like Italian seasoned sausage, I don't see the point in doing that. Maybe we'll just throw some of the Frankie steak seasoning on the vegetables as we're cooking them. A little bit of garlic as well. We will be uh, deglazing the vegetables with some white wine as well as some of the uh, collagen beef broth that we have on Frankie's free range meat. So a relatively simple recipe, not too many ingredients and uh, we're going to serve it on some bread although people you know serve this with all different types of starches and carbohydrates. So I got my pan on the heat. This is probably enough sausage for two meals so we we'll definitely have some leftovers. And now there's a few different ways we can do this. We could just cook them whole like this throw them on the sandwich with the veg afterwards. You could, you know, squeeze them out of the casing, which is what I prefer to do, uh, because it's gonna have like a more uh, homogenous texture when we uh, put it on the sandwich, basically like ground beef. And then I guess classically you would just uh, slice these up into chunks and put them on the sandwich, but I, I, really, uh, I really don't like that. I prefer to have it uh, out, out of the casing and something that you can have a an even amount of sausage in every single bite. So medium high heat, sausage chopped up in the pan. So for the vegetable prep, we just wanna chop our onion, chop our garlic, and drain the pepperoncini. I think these are small enough that they don't have to be cut. So we got about half a jar of pepperoncini, and I do wanna rinse these because uh, they use a little bit of citric acid as a preservative on the peppers. Now I don't chop a crazy amount of vegetables, so I'm not that good at it. I just like to just cut the onion in half, and then if you go like as thin as possible down the onion. You have some pretty small strands, so you don't have to try to do this like crazy dice or brunoise. So we got some nice browning on the sausage. We don't really wanna overcook it or cook it too much, so we're gonna take this off the heat. So the sausage is gonna come out of the pan onto a plate to cool off. So see, we have all that kind of caramelized flavor from the sausage in here, maybe a little dark over here. We're gonna put in our onions and peppers. And then I'm gonna take maybe two big spoonfuls of the collagen broth. What this is gonna do is deglaze the bottom of the pan. It's gonna bring up all those bits as well as give a nice rich flavor to the peppers and onions without being too overpowering. And this is really how you build a lot of flavor in vegetables or sauces. You know, you deglaze with stock and then you deglaze with wine as well while adding aromatics, garlic, onion, seasonings. We'll put a little bit of oil in here. And you could brown the vegetables before or after deglazing. If there's a lot of like really dark flavor in the pan already, deglaze first, let the vegetables absorb that. Then after the collagen broth, is evaporated, you can brown the vegetables a little bit if you wanna do that. Uh, if you guys are wondering, this is a Japanese vegetable cleaver. Any kitchen equipment you guys see me cook with or use is gonna be on my Amazon shop, amazon.com slash Frank Tofano. I, I like to get the most affordable stuff that's also high quality and high performance. So as this 
beef broth evaporates as this dries up, all of that concentrated beef flavor is being absorbed into the vegetables. So as you guys can see, the broth is kind of almost evaporated. We're gonna put our garlic in the pan. Wanna give the garlic like a good 30, 40 seconds on the high heat just to caramelize really quickly. And here we'll also add a pinch of our steak seasoning from Frankie's Strange Meat. This is just garlic, onion, reinforcing the flavors, a little bit of mushroom for the umami, and a little bit of white pepper. So it's really a versatile all-around seasoning. I really like it on potatoes and vegetables actually more than I do steak. So everything's kind of mixed together. All the beef broth is evaporated. We're getting the fond in the bottom of the pan again. So I have an organic white wine here. We're just gonna add a quarter cup to deglaze with. So this is basically the finished product. I will add a, a pinch of salt. I don't like adding too much. I think the pepper and chinis have a decent amount of flavor and the sausage has some salt in it. We just wanna cook all of this wine off. And just like the, the beef broth, the, the wine lends its own flavor, its acidity, adds a lot of complexity to the vegetables. And you wanna stop right before it looks like things are evaporated because if you completely evaporate all the liquid, it'll be good, but if you wanna have leftovers, it's gonna be really dry the next day because the vegetables will absorb some more moisture <laughs> after they're done cooking. Okay, so this looks really, really nice. Everything's lightly caramelized. We're gonna put the sausage back in and just mix everything together. Now any dish for the most part, you could put a little squeeze of lemon juice in there to add some acidity and you won't really taste or notice the lemon flavor. You just wanna be really careful, maybe like half of a squeeze of half of a wedge because if you add a little too much lemon and you have a lot of lemon flavor in a dish like this, it doesn't really match in my opinion, but a little squeeze of lemon juice, you can pretty much put in anything. You know, if you don't have organic lemons on hand, a little bit of red wine vinegar, apple cider vinegar, that's fine too. All right, guys, moment of truth. We have some kind of like Italian style bread with our sauces and peppers on top. Guys, I have like no spice tolerance. Oh, this is a little spicy for me. <laughs> it's delicious, but we put a little Calabrian chili in the sausage. I don't think the pepperoncinis are spicy, but I can't do any spice at all. It's probably like a little spicy. I'm still, I'm still gonna eat all of it. Very delicious, but. Oh, I'm not really sure. I don't think the sausage is that spicy. I think the pepperoncinis are spicier than I thought. Oh yeah, it's the pepperoncini. Oh man, I gotta do this with just onions because I cannot do any spice at all. It's so good though. Holy shit, I need some water. All right guys, very delicious. A little too spicy for me, although that's not gonna stop me from having this for dinner. But if you guys do wanna try uh, the Italian sausage, we got the stay seasoning, the salt, as well as the collagen broth on Frankie's FreeRangeMeat.com. Outside of that, you guys can drop a like on the video, leave a comment down below, subscribe so that YouTube can unsubscribe you next week, and be sure to check that notification bell so they don't notify you of my videos. Holy shit. If you can't do spice, guys, do not, do not make this. Oh my God, that's pretty bad. My tongue is burning. My tongue is burning. Oh my God.